So I tested ChatGPT by asking a simple question. Can you give me a list of all Taylor Swift singers by release date? And um, I like Taylor Swift, but I'm far away from being a Swifty. So do you think that ChatGPT is? So he gave me a list and I decided that I want to check everything that he gave me in different sources. So I went to Wikipedia and check different singles and see if the information he gave me is actually true. The problem is that Wikipedia is also not the most reliable sources because it's made by other people and everybody can change it. And I don't know if someone actually fact checking it. So I thought maybe a better source will be Taylor Swift Wiki page. Um, it's made by our friends and let's face it, I'm pretty sure they they know all of this stuff. If you're a big fan, you know this information. So I'm double checking and as you can see, I actually found a mistake, which for me, it's a little bit concerning because this is a simple question, but if I'm using it for business, for my work, for, for school, for anything that I need an actual real information, real data, this is a problem for me. So always double check everything that you get from any AI tool, actually, not just ChatGPT, because by the end of the day, you're using it and you you want to be professional, you want to be accurate, you, you actually want to succeed. And by using false information, it can only hurt you. So the lesson here is always double check don't rely only the information that ChatGPT gives you. And remember, as life-changing as AI tools, ChatGPT is for our life. It's still new and we have a long way to build.